However, I do want to tone it down on the matte products and try something new to me, maybe new to you guys. Trying to welcome the luminous look or the luminous product that are out there on our oily skin. I'm going to try to show you guys whether it's going to be a struggle, whether it's going to be a, you know, something quickie, we're going to get through it together. Okay. So let's get to getting the face prepped up with a luminous wear. Well, with luminous product, having a dewy look, something not too drying, something not too matte to the skin. And we'll see where, where we end up getting. If it's a good then we'll keep doing it if not then we'll throw it down the trash so let's get to it today i have my face bare i'm going in with my go-to daily moisturizer avino clear complex um that one i love the thickness consistency of it I put that on and I'm ready to go out the door. I did somewhat semi done my brows with, you know, outlining it, filling it in. I did not um I did not clean around the perimeter of it yet. So we're just going to get the face done and finalize everything and we'll get to that part so we do want to make sure we have a good amount of moisture onto the skin and even if, if our uh, moisturizer if it's not thick enough or oh my god look at look here my hair got you know ugh, whatever um so we do want to make sure we have a good amount of moisture onto the skin. And on top of that, I am going to apply my regular primer. I'm going in with the Hydro Grip Primer by NYX. That one is to die for. We're going to need the tackiness of this primer. So we could get things done right all right so what we're gonna do now is using a setting powder onto the skin first just so we can block off any excess oils any you know doingness that our skin naturally produce we're gonna block that off with the setting powder and the setting powder I'm using is the black opal invisible HD finish powder it looks like this and it's number 100 it has some some um, color to it I'm using my brush this may be a bit too light I want something with color okay. let's stick to this one it's much more of a neutral type of brownish color we're gonna the face is still tacky we're gonna use our um, puffy brush or powder brush to just go like this we just Put over the found the primer the setting powder mainly on the area that we know is going to be a problem area all right so we have that set we're gonna go in what I did on the back of my hand is trying out my this is the becca 
light shifter dewy tint lumen ugh, tint illuminator or whatever product so this dewy tint um product here by becca i looked this up online the price the regular price for this is 36 dollars i was able to find it at tj maxx and um so that i wanted to try using as a go-to or regular to-go type of product so i have two colors here 6.5 and 5.5 luna 6.5 and borealis 5.5 this is much lighter this is darker so this one is what i'm using the darkest one i have paired it up with it's a bit runny what i did is pairing it up with the custom color drop cover fx product this one is much lighter and it's much thicker so i matched the two together to see where we're gonna you know how i want the dewy look of it but not the runniness of it and so i pair it up with that one to give me more consistency to apply it on to the face more as a foundation because this is just a tinted type of dewy product so we have that on the hand I'm going to go in with my brush on my the area that I have my little blemishes area or on the inner part of the face rather. I'm going to focus that, dab that onto the face. I'm not um, swiping or sweeping the product onto the skin. I'm just dabbing it. We don't want to disturb the, the powder we have underneath this thing here or let's hope everything works okay I'm gonna use a little bit more this is the color of it and a little bit of that cover FX maybe less than what i use because the cover effects is pretty thick and much lighter so we want to get the right color as we go we are looking dewy <laughs> I'm going in with my puffy. I just dipped my brush real quick. I'm waiting for my my sponge. Just waiting for it to get to where it needs. So on this area, I'm gonna tone it down with the beauty blender or blend everything. We are dabbing, not swiping the, the blender, the beauty blender onto the skin, just like we did with the brush. All right, you see it's a bit shiny, not too crazy. You see the chin area. And it's not feeling heavy on my skin as if, I would apply this just as it is without the pre the preparation of the um, skin prior to putting it on so we're we're looking good so far see it does give us that glow yeah 
Let's just put the rest on my neck. It's not too bad. It's not that bad. All right, so we have that going. I'm gonna go in using my concealer and the concealer I'm gonna go ahead and use is this um, this duo I've been loving. It's the, by Milani. The Cool Toffee and Warm Tan. I use cool toffee on the to start. It's more to my skin color. And then I just use cool tan just to give me some brightness. All right, I'm using this brush here by elf it says that it's a concealer brush i would never think of using a brush like this as a concealer i'm just gonna give it a try again with that with tapping the product onto the skin not swiping it i don't like this brush as a concealer brush mm. It's already shedding. It's my first time using it. And it's it's poking me. Um, let me use this one. It's by Sigma. It's a large fluff brush. I normally use this for powder. Yeah, no, this is much better. But I have two of them. I could use one to set the under eye. And then the other one was as concealer. All right, you see here, we're looking dewy. It doesn't feel oily at all onto the skin with that technique. Um, we're gonna go in the forehead area and also over my brow bone just to just to um, uh, finalize that part of the brow. I should use the other one much lighter which is the cool tent I'm gonna mix cool tan with the first one for my brow bone All right. See how we already got the eyebrow snatch. Okay, let's finalize this under eye situation. going in lightly with my sponge just to lift off any excess product and blend out smoothly the tip of the concealer onto the rest of the face see and the forehead So here, 
so we have all that going um we could see the faces somewhat dewy not matte all the way you see the chin area is somewhat you see it does oh ha. let's get this so the chin is somewhat glowy this area here is glowy the head the forehead area not oily feeling at all i'm not sure how it's gonna perform throughout the day but i'm gonna give this a shot for now so we have that all done we're gonna go ahead and set the under eye and i am using the laura mercier setting powder which is the uh, medium deep Let's first set everything before I go in directly under the eye. Then we're going precisely for under the eye. I'm not gonna use the Laura Mercier one. I'm gonna use something much um, more yellow. I am going in with the Juvia's Place setting powder instead, using this brush here, which is a Sephora brush. I like this one, because this just has that angle right at the bottom focus where exactly you need to go not too much because we do want a dewy look all right so we're gonna leave that for now i'm going in with my all right i'm gonna go in with my juvia's place bronze this is like a staple after I bought this product, it just became my staple bronzer. Um, using I'm gonna use this top color. My brushes are shedding like crazy. This is a some brush I got from wherever i don't know we're going to do some light bronzing um using the top color on here and this is the dark shade that i got you have one that's a little lighter than this one all right so we're gonna lightly I'm not using the bottom one because yeah this is much this is fine the light the darkest one is a lot redder I'm just gonna dab this one all around the face to get bronze and get some color into the skin see look at this it's the for the amount of powder that i use you would think i'd be fully matte by now but i'm not let's go back with the sponge just to blend everything So we have that for now um skin is somewhat dewy not too matte just as i would want it to be i'm gonna go ahead and set my face before i move on with the next product this is the continuous setting spray by morphe love this thing oh the mist of this is just 
Okay, see? We're, we're getting somewhere. Everything is acting right. We're going to go in with the So Lit by Makeup Obsession um, palette. It's a bronze palette. Not bronze. It's like highlight palette. I'm going to use Lits along with Glow Up because that's what we're trying to do here to get our full dewy face and um yeah lit is much more of a bronzy type of highlight glow up is has somewhat pinkish undertone to it just right into here we're gonna use the reddish bronzer on here over the lid because this is not the part where we pull out the eyeshadow Maybe I, maybe I should. Mm, nah. We're gonna use this brush, which is the same one that I use. Not the same one. This one, same type of brush. We're just gonna go ahead and bronzify the eye. Let's just use this fluffy brush with the top color. You guys, I'm using this bronzer palette on my eye. Look how pretty that color is. Like, like if you are really on the go, you have absolutely no time for eyeshadow. No time. Are you trying to get that bronzy glow? You're good to go with this one. I'm using that same So Lit um, palette with that So Lit highlight over Oh my god. These are not eyeshadows, but look at this. Oh, I think I just did something. I did. I went hard. I, I, whoa. You gotta have no eyeshadow palette with this. Wait, I'm not done yet. So lit. We're using still lit on the brow bone lightly. I mean, am I going crazy here or I'm doing something? Somebody stop this girl. I think I might have overdone the top forehead part. And I'm using the Milani, the Tink Eyeliner. I never thought I had hooded eyes. <laughs> Mm 
<laughs> Make up so. Lashes or no lashes? All right, so I have the Fabu Lashes. This is a glow liner. We have the black situation going on the lid. So that kind of helps. darken the liner the these faster but they are messy though and I'm using the the duo eyelash adhesive liner I like using this one better unless I'm using a different eye liner it dries down a lot faster than my regular adhesives and i can put it also onto the lid as a liner so let's get to this this i'm sharing with y'all my struggle i hate putting on the lashes it's the worst They're the worst. I hate it. But I love the look of it. <laughs> yeah. Just trying not to poke my eyeball out. Just tap that on here. This was easy next one oh my god this is the easiest I have ever put my lashes on maybe it's the maybe Kara's lashes are like that Woo! she ready okay Let's set the face one more once one more time. Oh, those lashes are awesome. The glue is messy, but the lashes There. 
Okay, so we're going to go in with... I should use another blush. We're going to, since we use the Cara Lash... I, um, the Cara Beauty Lashes, let's do them the honor of using their blush from the magazine palette that I um, reviewed on my one of my video I'll just put that link above um, however it's this one we're using this is the a nice pinkish um, blush we're just gonna add that right on the cheek in between the section where we bronze and highlight and I do go up a bit more with mine um, just to mention this blush seems to have some type of glowiness to it as well so if you don't want to use the highlight and use that blush alone it will give you some type of glow lightly So just wanted to prove to myself that not only I could use I could use the dewy products in a way that works for my skin. Um I don't necessarily have to bash all type of dewy products due to the fact that you know I do not apply it somewhat in a way that works so this part here we did accentuate the face with the you know the highlights and everything but this dewy product is what we use along with you know something to thicken it up and it works just fine i feel like i have a regular foundation onto the skin i'm not feeling heaviness on my pores like i, I normally apply um like tinted moisturizers as as such just by itself and it feels so runny onto the skin this doesn't do that because we did nourish the skin with moisturizer along with a good set of primer and mattify the face first with the um the loose powder and then going on tapping whatever dewy product we have on top of all that so we're just gonna do the lips and i'm using the nyx um lip liner club hopper and we are ready to go we have that going let's put a little more lips are so dry and we're going in with one of Milani's lipsticks we're gonna go in using desire on top of it Tap it up with T's and the mid part. Yes. Yes. There. And speaking of do we not to modify type of product for the winter time we do these lipsticks are super they're matte but not our typical matte um lipstick it has some moisture to it still gives you the matte look but not too much of a drying um into it okay so what do we think 
Let me let the hair down for you guys. Ooh, I should have kept it up. Just one sheet. So what do we think? It's a beautiful get going type of look glowy dewy look to it we went a bit you know inward with the lip the eyeliner oh i did not i did not put mascara on my la lower lash oh well. okay We have dewy, glowy, beautiful skin for the winter. We don't need to look dry. We, our skin may be cracking underneath. If it's cracking underneath, it's because we let it, because we need to make, make sure we moisturize our skin. But then we still have that summer glow, although it may be freezing like hell outside, but we're looking beautiful okay so let me know what you guys think of today's video we took it to the next level although it's very simplified very you know nice and natural we use less product or um I, perhaps I, I, sh I could say we make the most of the products the small products that we use we use the bronzer as around the eye just to bronze the eye and also the same highlight we have going on the face is what we have on the lid that highlight is just the bomb this may be my beautiful my you know shimmer go-to highlight on the lid well my shimmer eyeshadow on situation highlight slash high shadow okay it is just that beautiful let me just show it to y'all again this thing right here is what we have on the lid and it just goes in like butter it melts into the skin and it's just it's just a it's just beautiful okay so hope you guys enjoyed today's look and speaking of look those lashes cara beauty lashes 51 went on beautifully super easy no stress no hassle i have curly lashes that goes into my lid like this refuse to let me put any type of um lashes on or even it's always a struggle with the liner to line up my eyes so this today Maybe they were on their best behavior and we're just gonna be thankful for that. And we have this eye, these wings, ready to go. Well, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment. Let me know what y'all think. If this may be something to try, you know, you guys may wanna try using your dewy products that particular way to assist with the oil and you know not having a meltdown literally on our face at the end of the day i'm gonna go ahead and carry on with life and i'll see you guys on the next video stay safe out there bye